Wine is a free and open source software application that allows users to run Windows applications on Linux and other Unix-like operating systems. The latest version of Wine, version 8.0, was recently released and offers a range of new features and improvements. In this video, we will take an in-depth look at Wine 8.0 exploring its new features and the potential benefits it offers to Linux users, particularly in the gaming community. A year of development. According to the Wine developers, version 8.0 represents a year of development effort and over 8,600 individual changes. As a result, this latest version offers a range of significant upgrades to the platform. One of the main upgrades is the support for the Windows Portable Executable format. A P executable program includes all the code it needs in one binary file. When Wine 8.0 encounters such a file, it will now use native system calls instead of emulating Windows ones. This gives PE programs a significant performance boost, making them run faster and more smoothly on Linux machines. Improved 32-bit application support Another major improvement in Wine 8.0 is the enhanced support for 32-bit applications on 64-bit machines. With the new version, Wine can now run 32-bit applications with greater ease and efficiency, ensuring that they perform at their best on Linux systems. This is particularly important for older games, which are often 32-bit and have been difficult to run on Linux in the past. Wine 8.0 makes it easier to run these games, improving the gaming experience for Linux users. Enhanced Graphics Performance The latest version of Wine also includes several improvements to 3D graphics performance, specifically with Direct 3D. More graphics adapters are supported, and there are also improvements to the cross-platform Vulkan rendering engine. These improvements help ensure that games and other graphics-heavy applications perform at their best on Linux systems. Improved Game Controller Support Wine 8.0 also introduces improved support for game controllers, including driving wheels and Sony DualShock and DualSense controllers. This is particularly important for gamers, who often use these devices to enhance their gaming experience. With better controller support, Linux users can enjoy their favorite games with greater ease and convenience. Potential Benefits for Linux Gaming Wine 8.0's improvements are aimed at improving the gaming experience on Linux, which has traditionally been limited by the availability of games on the platform. By making it easier to run Windows games, including older ones, Linux could attract more gamers and increase its market share in the gaming community. The limited availability of games on Linux has historically hindered its desktop adoption. However, with the new version of Wine, Linux users can run Windows games more smoothly and efficiently, making the platform a more viable option for gamers. Proton, a Valve-sponsored derivative that's tuned for gaming, is likely to benefit from Wine 8.0's upgrades. This means that Steam Deck owners will eventually be able to take advantage of these improvements as well, further enhancing the gaming experience on Linux. Other Potential Benefits Wine 8.0 is not only useful for gamers. It also provides a way for desktop Linux users who need to run occasional Windows programs to do so without having to use a virtual machine. This is particularly useful for businesses and organizations that use Windows-specific software and need to run it on Linux machines. Wine 8.0 is available for many Linux distributions, including Ubuntu, and the Wine developers recommend using their repositories because their versions are newer and Windows compatibility is a moving target. In conclusion, Wine 8.0 is a boon for Linux and Windows go-betweens, making it possible to run Linux and Windows programs without a virtual machine. It is available for many Linux distributions, including Ubuntu. Overall, Wine 8.0 is a significant improvement that will benefit both Linux and Windows users. If you find this video useful please like, share and subscribe.